Welcome to the sending and responding to messages video. During this video, you'll see how to communicate with your customers using Podium, which can save you time and money. You'll also learn about the inbox and how to send common messages like payment requests and review invitations. Finally, you'll learn to use video chat. Your customers or clients might contact you using Google, Facebook, email, text messaging, or your website. Getting messages from so many apps and platforms can be overwhelming. But with Podium, you can consolidate all of these communications into one easy-to-use inbox. That way, you don't have to log into multiple systems to answer common questions. And you and your customers can take those conversations on the go using your mobile devices so you can answer questions quickly and easily. First, let's get familiar with how the inbox works. We'll start by seeing how messages are organized. Personal messages are organized into two inboxes, all and your conversations. The All inbox lets you quickly see all messages for a specific location. Depending on your account permissions, you may not have access to this inbox. The Your Conversations inbox lets you quickly find messages that you started or that have been assigned to you. Next, you'll see your organization's team inboxes. Typically, this will include three inboxes, General, Leads, and Reviews. But you may have additional ones. Podium uses artificial intelligence to automatically route new messages to either the leads or reviews inboxes. All other messages are routed to the general inbox. You can learn more about customizing team inboxes in the Podium Help Center. You can send or respond to messages anytime. Just click the new message icon and enter the contact information of the person you'd like to message. Let's say that you need to confirm an appointment for some yearly maintenance on an AC unit with Catherine, one of your customers. Since you've worked with Catherine before, you already have the service agreement ready to send, so let's attach it. When you click Send, Catherine will receive a text message to confirm her appointment. Catherine sent back a message, and it looks like she needs to reschedule her appointment. We can fit her in at 3 p.m. on the 28th, so let's respond. Once your account is fully set up, you'll not only be sending messages, but you'll also be receiving them. You can quickly see where the conversation was started by looking at the icon at the top of the message. Messages can be from Google Business Messaging, Facebook Messenger, email, text, and Apple Business Chat. Next, let's talk about different types of messages you can send in Podium. We'll start with payment requests. A technician performed the yearly maintenance on Catherine's home. Let's send a payment request so she can pay her bill over text. To be able to send payment requests, you'll need to set up a bank account. To learn more, watch the Connect a Bank Account to Payments video. Write a message to Catherine. Next, click on the Payment Request icon and fill out the fields. Click Create Payment Link, and then click Send. Once the message has been sent, Catherine will be able to pay her invoices using either a credit card, debit card, Google Pay, Apple Pay, or bank transfer. Now, let's send a review invitation, another common message. Increasing both your quality and quantity of reviews on popular sites like Google will not only improve your findability, but will also help you to outshine your competitors. So you should be sending review invitations to every one of your customers. To send review invitations, you'll need to connect to review sites in Podium. To learn more, visit the Podium Help Center. Let's send a review invitation to Catherine. Start by writing up a message. Next, generate a review invitation link. Customers will use the link to choose between your different review sites and then leave a review. Finally, click Send. Catherine will then be able to leave a review on one of your review sites. Let's wrap up this video by discussing two other ways that you can message with customers, email and video chat. We recommend sending text messages when possible because you'll have better response rates. But in some cases, an individual might prefer to receive emails instead of text messages. You can create an email by clicking the new message icon and entering the name and email of the person. Next, create a subject line for your email. Then add your message and attachment if needed. The customer will receive a message in their email inbox and can continue to communicate with you via email.
To create a new email thread, simply change the subject line. Finally, let's take a look at video chat, which lets you have face-to-face -face conversations with your clients and customers even if they can't come into your business. Let's say a company has someone who wants a new thermostat. The customer, Danielle, is available now to have a video chat with your technician who will virtually walk through her home and provide a quote. To send a video chat invitation, first find the conversation. Next, add a video chat invitation. Write up a message and send it. Now, Danielle and the technician can join the video chat. Now that you've watched the sending and responding to messages video, you should know how to send common messages and connect with customers via video chat.